Okay, phone, you can start. Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Mohammed. A pleasant good afternoon to all. Uh, I'm Ms. Yvonne Aldico from the GDIPC surveillance team. So today I'm going to present to you uh, Power BI surveillance dashboard. So uh, in the beginning, we will I will give you a short guide on how to navigate your Power
day of the month. The next the general statistics, so total number of dialysis events and what type of events. It is fast red and swelling at vascular site, uh, start of antimicrobial or positive blood culture and so on. Also for organism insensitivity, if it's positive blood culture, it will appear also. So this is for now, this will be our focus the intensive care monitors. So data of patients admitted in ICU. So for all, uh, it will be, it will depend on your, it will not be the same for all. For example, for us in the directorate, we, we can see all the regions. We can check uh, all the hospitals under the region. But for the, each region, for example, RIA, they would see only the RIA uh, directorate and all the hospitals under RIA region. Or for hospitals, they, the dashboard, you can only have access for your hospital. So what will be there? It will be the directorate, the sector, the type of uh, hospital, if it's governmental or non-governmental, and which hospital, for example, if, if you are in Riyadh, you are, you are from a flagged general hospital, it will open only for your hospital. And then the type of ICU that you want to check, adult medical, all, the, all, all types of ICU. So the data inside, it will be patient days, and the device days. So device days for central line, for uh, urinary catheter and ventilator. So it will appear here, patient days, central line days, if there is club C or uh, events or not. The DUR also, it will appear. DUR means uh, device utilization ratio and the rate and others for county and uh, VAE. For hospitals, the same uh, the same data, but it will be specific for hospitals only. And the ICU can choose you know, the type of ICU that you have. It will appear only, I think, whatever ICU you choose to enter in Hessen. For example, you, cho you choose only medical surgical and NICU, so you will have only medical surgical and NICU. Next, the units. So it is according to the type of unit that you choose. So there is uh, medical, medical card, medical surgical for all. This one will appear for us all the types of ICU. But for the, uh, for the hospital, it will appear only for the type of ICU that you have chosen to enter data in Hessen. So this is the ICU breakdown, surveillance breakdown. So all the data that you have entered, it will appear in the ICU surveillance breakdown. So if it's per device, it will appear all the devices that was entered, the insertion date, the removal date, and the device days. Events breakdown, it will be the same. So all the events that has been entered, the event type and the event date. So per type of the ICU. So this is just a guide for you and I will share it with you later on. Now we will go to the actual link for the dashboard. So when you open the link with your username and password, it will appear like this. So for those who are non-Arab uh, non speaker or like, 
there is you can i told you you can change the language from arabic to to english so it will be easier for you to access so we can change it right click then translate to english so now it's translated so it's written there fourth plus infection control so there is pixel this is for pixel and this is the viewings for the surveillance monitors so we will not go so this uh, first uh, i want to tell you about the user it can be used for us surveillance and it can be also for pixel the same username and password you can do so we'll go to the viewings this is what I told you. This is for SSI, Operation Monitors, all data regarding uh, operations and SSI, Distribution Monitors. Once it will be arranged uh, fully, it will be very nice to check on your uh, surgeries. So all the types of surgeries that you have, we specify five surgeries, cesarean, cholecystectomy, uh, or if and what else a cabbage appendectomy so it depends on what type of, of operation you have chosen it will appear here how much uh, data you have entered in your hospital and then this is the number of events the total of ssi events here if one it's not sharing uh, uh -huh. not sharing why I'm not sharing? I will take it with me. Okay. Can you repeat sharing the phone? Okay, okay, doctor. Is it appearing, Doctor? Uh, no, you found Okay, wait, Doctor. Uh, okay, now it's okay? Yeah, now it's okay. Okay, again from the from the top. <laughs> okay, this is the dashboard. After you you went to the link that we provided uh, for you, you will open the the link and it will appear like this, the dashboard. So it will appear in Arabic uh, in Arabic, and you can translate it to English. So right click, translate to English. So now it's translated. So that is for big cell and there is for viewings and this is for the one for surveillance. So the same username and password you can use to have access for big cell and surveillance. So our focus on the surveillance monitors. So we will click the viewings, drop it down. And then the here, the operation monitors it will be for uh, all the surgeries done and the SSI events. So this one, as we have told you, is still the SSI and dialysis events and MDRO still not yet fully arranged. So hopefully once it will be fully operational here, it will uh, give you all the data that you need for your hospital. So in this monitor, there is a monitoring type. There is yes and no. I think this is for the events. If there is event and there is no event. And the list of operations. So 
uh, the five types of oper operation that you have chosen, either cholecystectomy, cesarean, or if uh, appendectomy and cabbage. The facility, if it's the type of hospital, I think if it's governmental or non-governmental should be here, the city and the region under which directorate and the period of time uh, from 1st of March till the end of March can be here. You can just click and uh, which month do you want to check. For the number of events, so this is the total SSI events. So it will appear in a pie chart. Statistics, this is for the compliance rate, I think, compliance for active surveillance and the different uh, variables for the bundles, SSI bundles. So antibiotic given time, appropriate hair removal, post-operative temperature if it's normal, and so on. So this is for this dashboard for SSI bundles. Then operation statistics. So here it will appear the top five procedures uh, with events. So this is for the rate of the surgical site infection by the type of surgery. So the top five with the with their rates. Also for the dialysis monitors, it is still not yet fully arranged. The same way with the surgical site infection. So the distribution of monitors, the same, the statistics. But here in dialysis events, it will appear uh, first day and second day. So this will depends when you enter for the first day of the working day of the month and the second working day of the month which facility, the city, the region, the directorate, and the time period. Also, in a pie chart, it will appear the events and the type of events. So, past redness, swelling, and positive blood culture, start of antimicrobial, and, and others. Organism and sensitivity, if it's positive blood culture, it will appear what type of uh, organism gram positive, gram negative, and which organism. And then intensive care monitors. This is now our focus. So intensive care monitors. So as we have told you for different types, like directorate, under directorate, for us, we have a different dashboard. We can see all the regions, all the hospitals, and we can check your data from here. But in the directorate, you can check only for your own region and hospitals under your region. But for hospitals, you can see only your hospital. You cannot see other hospitals as well. So for directorate, there is different types of directorate. So Asir, Baha, Bisha, etc. So for the sector, either governmental or non-governmental, it should appear here. hospital and the different hospitals under the directorate. If it's, for example, I open uh, Riyadh region, it will appear, should appear all the hospitals under Riyadh region. So for your region, Riyadh, in your directorate, it will appear all the hospitals under your region. And then which ICU type you want to check, medical, surgical, medical, neonatal, pediatric medical, or pediatric medical, surgical. So inside the, the table, there is directed aid, patient days, central line days, if there is club, number of clubs C or events, the DUR or device utilization ratio, the rate, and then the device days. So it will appear all the same for county and BAE. To make sure that you have entered all your data, you can check in the dashboard for how many, for example, how many events you have entered. It should appear the same as what you have done manually. So if not, uh, should be you should enter all your data in Hessen Plus, so it, it will appear here in the dashboard. 
And also you can double check if the rates are correct or not. So clubs rate, you have to check if it's uh, really 1.0, for example. So you have to take the clubs event divided by the total central line days times 1,000. So it should appear the same rate. Also for the DUR, how you will check if it's uh, correct the DUR. So you have to divide the, uh, the device days by the patient days, by the total number of patient days. So it should be correct when you try to calculate it. So the same for CAUT and ventilators for VAE. So CAUT and VAE, the same procedure. You have to double check. So when you click the hospitals, the same way, but it will appear here, hospital. So which type of hospital, what, what is the hospital, for example, and what type of surgery you want to check. If you, are, you have multiple, if you press multiple selections, it will appear the type of uh, ICU only that you have uh, chosen to report in HESET. For example, uh, in Hera General Hospital, just an example. So medical, surgical only they have, and they did not uh, choose any other ICU type. So it will appear only the medical, surgical for you and not all the other ICU type. So the same patient day, center line days, the number of events, the DUR for Club Z and then Cauti and BAE. So the same way you have to check, double check the rates and the DUR if it's right. And then be sure that all the data that you have manually must be entered also in HESEN, HESEN Plus. So all data must be entered because we have to check the difference between if the difference between the manual data and the HESEN data must be not uh, must be at least not that equal, but it should be um, within 5% difference, plus minus five. And as much as possible, you need to enter all your uh, data in HESEN Plus and do not miss the events that you should enter. So for the unit, for the units, there are burn, medical, medical, cardiac, medical, surgical, neonatal, and I think there's around 16 or units here. So according to the type of unit that you have uh, and uh, you have chosen to enter in HESEN Plus, it will appear for you if you are in the hospital. Also for the directorate in the region, it will appear only for the hospitals under them, which type of units it will be. So the same contents, patient days, central line days, number of uh, events, the DUR and the rate. And then there is also ICU surveillance breakdown. So whatever data you have entered, it will appear all from the patient ID, directory, the healthcare facility, the type of ICU, the start of surveillance date, and the end of surveillance date and the patient dates. This is for the ICU surveillance breakdown. Devices breakdown, it will appear all the devices that has been entered according to the type of ICU. So there is addition device name, insertion date, removal date, and the device days. For the events breakdown, also the same patient ID, the directorate, the facility, the type of ICU, the event type, and the event date. So all data that you have entered in HESEN will appear here. Be sure to enter all your uh, data in HESEN Plus 
all the manual data must be entered in Hessen Plus. So we can have uh, more reliable data entry in Hessen Plus. I think it's not that difficult as compared to data entry in Hessen. It is easy as long as you will follow what is needed. And also this one, you, need, you can also print this one. You can choose the file. For example, you want to print any graph here. For example, this one, you want to print this one. So you can go to the file up here, choose print this page and it can be printed. From this file, print this page. You can generate also a QR code. But to export the data, still, this one it will can be exported in PowerPoint also and in PDF. But it will uh, take time. But it will be exported. So for your own reports, you can do it in PowerPoint or in PDF copy. And you can print here a copy of also if you want to. I think that's it for this uh, PowerPoint uh, Power BI of Surveillance Dashboard.